5D Design Creator has many new features that allows you to create cut work, do lace, as well as add texture to your projects. Let's go ahead and do some of that right now. I'm going to begin with our Design Creator by starting a new page and we're going to make a design with no picture to begin with. Once I have the proper hoop size, then I'll come into my mini picks and with the mini picks, choose this nice little floral pattern. I want to resize this. Now, when I make this a larger size, you're going to notice I actually am working within a hoop area, which is one of those new features. It makes it easy when I go to the Create tab to actually see what my design is going to look like, what size it will be as I start my design. Because I'm choosing this nice little floral leaf pattern, I'm going to start with a green color so they'll be green within all of my leaves. One of the new features we have with the 5D Design Creator are Richelieu bars. It's easy to put in Richelieu bars by simply clicking, starting at a little corner, and adding points straight across the leaf area. Now I'm putting in a fair number of points. I can always add more later if I choose, or take away if I put in too many. And that's it. It's that easy to put in those Richelieu bars. Now notice if I move one of the points, my bars change automatically, very quickly and easily, so I can adjust those however I wish. One of the other great functions is notice as I turn and move these little points, the angle of the Richelieu bar is actually moving. When I right click, these are the properties for the different Richelieu bars. The width of the satin stitch is here, and also there is a distance between the bars. So I can change that distance to 10 and apply and see what it's going to look like. Notice there are fewer bars and they're further apart. You also have the option of actually placing the exact number of bars you want in an area. So I chose four, now I have four bars. If I have a smaller number of bars, I may want to make the width larger. Click apply and you can see the width has made, has gotten bigger as well. Let's go ahead and go back to a little bit finer bar and I'm going to choose the gap size to be about seven. And click OK. So there are my Richelieu bars, and it makes it real easy to put those in. They're automatically placed. Another wonderful new feature of the 5D Design Creator is called a continuous satin area. I want to simply move from one leaf to the next. And then I'm going to click in and choose that continuous satin. With the continuous satin, what you'll see is once I start placing the lines, my satin stitch starts to form. It's following along so the angle of the satin stitch is the angle that I've placed my little points. When I get to the end, I simply right click and there is my satin stitch. Is that quick and easy to do it. Now, if I wish, again, by changing the point, I change not only the look of the leaf, but also the angle of the stitch. So I can make those adjustments very simply and easily, however I want them to be. Another wonderful feature is the freehand point emboss, or truly embossing into the satin stitch. The satin stitch that I've created, when I click and drag across here to see, that's quite a large satin stitch. It's actually 18 millimeters or about three quarters of an inch. When I stitch that out on my embroidery machine, that would be too long. So 
the embossing allows me to click in an area and actually when I click along this line I've now created a line right down the edge of that satin stitch. If I don't like where those lines are, I simply move my points. So again, it's just so easy. Everything's right on screen, makes it as easy as I want it to be. Very, can place those wherever I want it. And click the emboss again, and start down at the very tip of my leaf. In placing points all the way down to the end and again now I see that satin stitch is now broken up into a couple different couple different areas just by embossing that area we have one more area to fill and that's this top leaf I'm simply going to choose the fill area and then come around the outside edge. The points allow me to, when I get finished, to go ahead and adjust that fill area in real time so I can just place that right where I want it to be to make sure that my leaf looks just right. And it's wonderful be able to, to be able to see the stitches moving as I go along. Now, what we want to do is use one of the new features in the 5D Design Creator, and that's working with the density. When I click on the density, what you'll see is we've had a single color gradient before where we've changed the density from like a very low density, tight, close together, to a higher density at the other end. So I'm just going to change that. Take that all the way up to 15. Okay. So when I apply, you'll be able to see in that top leaf the change in the density. A uh, lot further apart on the stitches here and much closer together at the top. What we've added in the 5D Design Creator is what's called a multicolor gradient. So you're not actually choosing just one color. You have the ability to choose many different colors. I'm going to start with that green color at the bottom. So here's green here. And then let's choose a little bit lighter green at the top. So let's even choose this green here. So again, and you can see the change in the color as it goes across. Now if those two colors weren't enough, I can actually add a lot of different markers. So what that allows me to do is change and make this a color that looks, or a leaf that looks almost like fall. So let's start here. Choose a pretty red color bit darker red color. You'll see here in the window how it changes as we go along. Let's choose an orange. So again those beautiful fall colors. I'm actually going to change this one to a little bit of a yellow. So a little bit darker. You can move these around to have more or less of the different colors and I can move this around too. So you can see I'm going to have a little bit more orange in my leaf. When I click apply, look at how beautiful that changes the color here. It's just wonderful. So once we have this the way we want it to be, I'm going to click OK and you can see that top leaf, that multicolor gradient fill goes from kind of a really dark green, a little bit at the top to the red, the orange, the yellow, and a little bit of green down at the bottom. And again, you can see how quick and easy it was to make that wonderful design. 5D Design Creator has so many wonderful new tools for you to create with. I hope you enjoy making all of your projects.